Well, we are excited to welcome Steve Pardon to the Daytime Kitchen. He's from the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Southwest Virginia. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And I understand that cooking really kind of got you involved in Ronald McDonald House. Is that right? It, it, actually, it actually did. I have been involved with Ronald McDonald House for a decent amount of time. But about two years ago, uh, Chip Moore over at the Brambleton Deli had a... Uh, had a celebrity kind of come in cook for your favorite charity mm -hmm. and Facebook got me in trouble because uh, <laughs> I had uh, I had just gotten a smoker and so oh, I was yeah. smoking things left and right there mm -hmm. you know, wasn't anything I didn't want to smoke and so I was posting it on Facebook all the time okay. and once I did that Chip said hey you keep putting all this stuff out there you got to come show it off so we had a big night and uh, we raised four hundred dollars for the Ronald McDonald house that night and that kind of caught the eye of uh, at the time the new director Anna and uh, she asked me to get a little more involved and I ended up on the board and I'm here cooking today. Wow, yeah. how so how long ago was that and what made you really want to want to stay with them and get involved? That was about two years ago and I've been involved with them a little bit before but yeah. what made me want to was basically their mission. You know folks who come out and have a sick kid and have to get somewhere like Roanoke where the medical attention is available, mm -hmm they don't often have the money to stay somewhere. You right. could stay for a long period of time. And so Ronald McDonald House, while it does get some funding from corporations, really it needs to fundraise all the time. Yeah. So fundraising and that sort of thing is what drew me to the Ronald McDonald House to help them complete their mission. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. Okay, and you have a couple of events coming up, right? We do, one of our big one, of course, we have our golf tournament, which was supposed to be in October. However, it is now November 8th at the Pete Dye River course because weather just has killed I everything, yeah, as right, you know, right. in the fall. Mm -hmm. uh, and then December, we have our Shine a Light, uh, Share a Night event. Mm -hmm. And on December 2nd, we'll be doing our tree lighting ceremony. Okay, so you cool. can uh, make a donation in honor of someone, and then we'll put a light on the tree for you. Oh, that's wonderful. All right and people can go to the rmhcsouthwest.com website for more information on all that. That's correct. All right, we're going to be cooking here in just a little bit. We're going to be cooking something that Steve calls a fatty. Hey, what? Yeah, in a little we're going to roll Call a fatty. Come yeah, on. we are, right here. <laughs> be nice. We are back in the daytime kitchen with Steve Parton from Ronald McDonald House Charities of Southwest Virginia, and we are about to make something you call the fatty. In the smoking meat world, which I told you kind of, it's kind of my hobby is smoking mm -hmm. meat, uh, a fatty is beef and sausage rolled around uh, any kind of filling that you oh, want, okay. and then wrapped in bacon. I wanted to be popular, so I did something with bacon, <laughs> yes. which usually makes me a popular guy. Yes. Uh, and then you go ahead and you put it in a smoker. But it's also perfectly acceptable to do at home in your oven, and that's what we're gonna show Good. you today. Good, I don't All right, have let's a smoker. All right, I so a couple, couple of quick tips. If you ever have to roll anything, even if you were making a brujol or anything like that, get yourself a plastic oh, bag. Yes. Get, a, okay, one, get okay. a one gallon plastic bag, uh -huh. and that way you can roll the meat out and look what you end up with. You end up with a exactly a square that you need to go ahead and do your rolling. You can fill this with anything you want. This is again is beef and sausage mixed together. Uh -huh. They were going to put some peppers and yes, onions in there that are. I spent hours mm -hmm. cutting. <laughs> All right, I, I didn't really do that. But the bag stuff works great when yeah. you're doing something like this. Yeah. You can also, once you have that, now we do cheese. Ooh, Any kind of cheese yeah. that you want and obviously copious amounts of cheese yes, because we're going to add that in with copious amounts of bacon. Yes. Then you go ahead and roll. And this is where your plastic helps you. You can kind of go like that to get oh, started. Yeah. This is like making sushi. And then you, uh, that is, oh, meat, nice. meat sushi. This there you go. Meat. That's what we can, that's what we can call this. And you go <laughs> ahead and work this together to make basically a loaf. And once you have that loaf, which looks a little better when it's like that. It's flipped, yeah. love it. Mm -hmm. When it's flipped, you basically have the okay. basics of a fatty. Now, you could just okay. wrap this with bacon if you wanted to, but you need to be a little fancier than that and don't be afraid of making a bacon weave. Right. Take five pieces of bacon mm -hmm. and lay them out long ways, and then while you might think the weaving part is difficult, it's not. You pull back the two that you want to weave. You were just talking to people who weave and weave, yeah. aren't yes. you? Well, this time right. we're going to do it with bacon. To yes. Now we take the two pieces, and then you just put it down. Over. Then you do the ones that you need back up. Look at that. And then you slide another piece of bacon on. And all okay. of a sudden, once you bring it down, you are back to having a perfect bacon weave. You I take your that. loaf. You could also do that for anything. Put it in the middle. And then you take bacon. Mm -hmm. Whoops. And I know it kind of looks like it falls apart, but we're not really worried about Don't the appearance worry. of it's the bottom. Bacon. It's mm -hmm. delicious. It mm -hmm. is going to give add fat to it, especially this is done when you're smoking because over a period of time meat can dry out. Mm -hmm. Now while that doesn't look great like that, 
smells. If you take it, other it side, you take it and perfect. go like that. Wow! Yes. Look what you have? Look at us. You yeah. have a perfect bacon weave. And right. when you are done, you put it in the oven about 350 degrees, mm -hmm. and you bring it out. This is still it's just warmed, but that was done earlier. And there is what Look your finished product looks like. Oh my gosh, this is great. Most hmm. importantly, the cool part mm -hmm. is when you take it, you slice through to the center. Yeah. Talk to me. Hopefully, to me. you oh, have wow. perfect pieces that have your filling inside as well as your bacon. Boom, baby. Man. Head it on out, add some, uh, add some mashed potatoes, add some uh, cheese, or add some mac and cheese, some mashed potatoes, yeah. take it out. Now I can and now tell your why presentation. He's so I know. It's your presentation obvious. on your plate looks like that. Your guests think you're just amazing because you have this bacon weave around there. Yes. And we just did it in a couple of minutes to show you just how, how easy, easy it, is. it is. Oh my oh gosh, gosh, that's so great. much, Steve. That is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this at home. Absolutely. Yeah. My family's gonna be so impressed. Yeah. And you can too. We're gonna post the recipe on DaytimeBlueRidge.com. Just look for the fatty. fatty. Look for the fatty. It's just under fatty. I mean, it's got bacon, it. pork, and sausage. It's a you fatty. You cannot go wrong. Mm -hmm. You cannot go wrong. And uh, thank you for your help with the uh, Ronald McDonald House yeah. locally. We really thank appreciate it. Thank you for having it. us. We Absolutely. appreciate it. Okay. All right. Time now to pop on over to.